This is the Unitarian Church of Lincoln's daily video update for Friday, August 14th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Over the last two weeks, we've been talking about the principles contained in our covenant as Unitarian Universalist congregations. And while the principles are not a creed, they are the clearest expression we have of a shared Unitarian Universalist theology. Theology is an iterative process. Each generation and each of us individually must from time to time ask, is this still who we are? Even if the answer is yes, we must continually ask the question. Over the last two weeks, we've been talking about the principles as they currently exist. Over the next year and a half, Unitarian Universalists will consider how they might exist. What do we center? What do we add? What no longer speaks to who we are in this moment? We have a sense of where we are beginning the work in the charge given at General Assembly this summer. The new principles and purposes, the charge reads, should guide us in the transformation of ourselves, our communities, and our faith into active networks of collective care, restoration, and justice. The principles and purposes you will prepare should be a living document that challenges Unitarian Universalists to place the liberation in all its dimensions of all at the center of our lives. They should be honest about our past, name what we are facing, our aspirations and where we hope to be, not just today, but looking out at the horizons. They should ask us to choose love in action as the path forward. Our commitment to anti-racism, anti-oppression, and multiculturalism is love in action and should be centered in any revision of Article 2. Finally, the principles and purposes should lead us into the second quarter of the 21st century while honoring the historic roots of our liberal progressive faith. We therefore charge this commission to root its work in love as a principal guide in its work, attending particularly to the ways that we and our root traditions have understood and articulated love and how we have acted out of love. Love is at the center. That's a good place to begin the work. One last note for this weekend. Over the summer, we've been participating in a cooperative worship series with UU congregations across the Midwest. So this Sunday, the Unitarian Church of Lincoln is hosting worship. On Sunday, we will have a chance to show who we are to our neighbors as they join us in our worship service. We'll also be trying out a few things that we're thinking about implementing in the fall for the coming year in worship, Sunday at 10 o'clock. I look forward to seeing you in the YouTube live comments. And until then, have a great weekend.